Okay, the first thing we have to do is get our email client settings. We do that by pointing our browser to email.secureserver.net, logging into your web based email. I'm already logged into mine, and then going to help, email client settings. It'll tell you what your email client settings are. Write them down or copy paste them to Notepad, memorize them, something like that. Don't write down mine. Yours might be different than mine. Moving over to Outlook Express. Step one, click Tools, then Accounts. Step two, make sure you're on the Mail tab. Click Add, Mail. Step three, type your display name. Step four, type your email address. Step five, choose either IMAP or POP3. In this example, we'll choose POP3. Incoming mail. This is the setting from your email client settings from web-based email. Mine was pop.secureserver.net. And then under outgoing mail server, mine was smtpout.secureserver.net. Click next. Account name. This is your full email address and your password. Do not check log on using secure password authentication SPA. We do not support that. Click finish. Okay, almost done. Moving on to step 10. Go back into the properties. Click on the servers tab. Check the box for my server requires authentication under outgoing mail server. <clears throat> Next step, step 12, go to the advanced tab. I would highly recommend checking both of these boxes. The server requires a secure SSL. Incoming POP3995, that's correct. We need to change the outgoing one to 465. And click OK. <clears throat> and click close. That's it. You're all done. Hope you enjoyed.